Pavel's group is advancing towards Tretikovskaya, also known as Venice. They have a few hours lead on me and are moving via frequently used tunnels. But I will catch up. I can't afford not to. We're armed. We are armed. Swear by Lenin's name. He doesn't look like a GB. I don't recognize the uniform. Could he be one of ours? Look at all his weapons. Don't shoot. We are civilians. There are women and children here. Leave and let leave, okay? We're refugees from the Red Line. I'm in charge here, basically. No, there's nobody under my command. All the battle-worthy men went with the other caravan. Half a click ahead. I thought they'd protect us, but they were attacked. We heard the shooting. It subsided. But it doesn't look like our people survived. So we can't go any further. And if we go back, it's the firing spot for us. You look like you've seen your share of fights. Can you help us? It's not for me, but I pity the children. So what do we do now? How do we live without them? They might still be alive. Don't bury them yet. But the shooting... The shooting was so loud. And now there is nothing. And what if they won? Why? Why don't they come for us then? They might come soon. Let's just wait. Do you think they... They killed them all? They could have. Or... It could be worse. How? Women were with them. Yasha, if ignorance is bliss, you're the happiest guy around. So uh, are we going to help our guys or what? What help can just the two of us be? If they're pinned down, we could flank the bandits. Let's get ready then. Well, you're not going anywhere. Who is going to protect the women and children? But we can't let the bandits butcher our guys. That stranger is going to help us. Looks like he's worth 20 of you anyway. You are an idiot to believe you're Andre the Blacksmith. Oh, it's safe. You'll get there in no time. And you dragged me here. And now we're all gonna die because of your stupid blacksmith. Shut your mouth. Andre's a saint. He got us all out and lots of people before us. Yeah, he got us out just to be robbed by bandits. And how the hell was he supposed to know about the bandits? Then he shouldn't tell people it's safe. Such bullshit. How about the GB? He did save us from them. And what difference does it make if we're still going to be killed by bandits? Dumb woman. <coughs> I don't even want to look at you. You tell me, Yasha. What made you flee? Mobilization, of course. A boy your age has no business with a rifle. They always overlook me. But then I was summoned to duty. Mom said with my luck. Come again. It's the dust the second I hit the front lines. So, she got me into this caravan. Which seems like a mistake now. You're still here. We'll find a place for yourself if we get it. But we Let me go! Please! I beg you! 
Shut your trap, bitch! Stop! Enough of your whining! Nobody's coming! Well, brother, you do it first since you want. I'll stand watch. Okay. Давай, мама! Come on! Spread them legs! Please, don't! No! Karom! What? You think it's... Hey, boy! How are you doing down there? <laughs> you need any help with that? Stop! Stop! What the fuck's taking so long? Where the hell are you? Damn, are you guys fucking with me or what? Hey! What the fuck are you doing there for so long? We searched everything already. They had a lot of shit here. Might have missed some bullets or whatever. Well, move your ass. The other guy. Shit! He's dead! They took everyone still alive. The kids, the women. I'll move the rail car so that you can drive through. And if you follow them, be careful in the technical tunnel. I heard the bandits talk about the trap there.
what? Are we going? Going where? What the fuck is up with you? To guard you. The boss said if we let just one snitch they fight, he's gonna have our asses. No sheep. of mushrooms and a bullet a day. And they don't let me pay, saying it's a disgrace to the mother.
detail later. Right now we're entering the fairway and plotting a course to the base. The snow on the surface starts melting. The familiar rail cars are now joined with boats and fishermen. One of them appeared just in the nick of time. Soon we'll be docked at Venice. Pavel is most probably already there. I don't usually fish in this dock, but I had a hunch they'd be biting pretty good here. to be careful here. There's more than just fish in that water. You see for yourself pretty soon. Grab the railing when I warn you. This tunnel leads to Revolution Square in the Red Line. I saw a boat coming in from there today. Only some serious dudes. No refugees. Uh, stay quiet now. They don't like noise. And this is their work. See how they just rest there? Easy, easy. He's not here to harm you. Nobody knows what they mutated from. We call them creeps. Ooh, ugly as hell. But they're not eating, especially with me.
Oh, wow, this doesn't happen often. Looks like we lucked out. The subterranean Venice, an island on the dark waters of underground rivers. You always hear rough stories circulating about this place. I hear it is all one huge den of thieves. But there is something I know for sure. Pavel reached Venice, and if I'm not late, he's still here. Finding the Dark One is still my main mission. But now I see I must also uncover Corbett's plans so that I can warn the Order about them. Wow. Oh, seems like we made it. Hey, are you asleep there? What do you think of the local fish, huh? Aren't they charming? Mm, seem moody, though. Looks like somebody went through there before us and angered them. Open up! The fishermen are back from the seas! Yeah, I see you all right. And who might that be? I picked the guy up in the tunnel. You don't think I should have left him there, do you? What? And make my life easy? Of course not. First of three, it's not this with this thing. And I keep raising hello to the gate. You can bring a girl for once. And what would you do with one if I brought her, Semenovich, huh? You're way too old for that stuff. By the way, you better lower the gate. Or else a woman might actually come. The one dressed in black and bearing a scythe. <laughs> Never fear. Semenovich is going to outlive you all. Hi, Fidor. How's fishing? Uh, not even a bite, unless you count the shrimps. And they got a few more out of me than I'd like. I was saved by this lad, Artyom. Nice to meet you, Artyom. Thanks for your help. So what exactly did happen? The shrimps were all over us as soon as we got to the fork. Almost took my raft apart. Uh, what the hell gives? Hmm, wonder. Oh, that's easy. The Reds passed through here, going to meet our esteemed neighbors. Didn't seem to care what they stirred up. Ah, so that's why. Look, Artyom, I suppose there is no hiding. Venice is full of gangsters. Jula, the scum of the earth. So don't you start any shit. I don't want any trouble. Simon! Hey! Simon! I want to talk to you! Look! Do you know where might our red guests be? In the brothel, of course. Who's that with you? This is Artyom, the scourge of the shrimps. <laughs> you should see him shoot. <laughs> I never met anyone quite as good as him. A gunslinger, eh? Would you help me take out a few bad guys? Simon, I freaking knew it. This is getting old. But almost all of them are gathered at the storage facility. Look. If this isn't the right time, I don't know what is. Between the two of us, we might be able to take them out. I told you countless times already, and I'm going to tell you again. No! I don't need the shit around here! Do you get me? Yeah, I got you. Right. Then I'm going to leave you two. Okay. In this station of criminals, how is it he's in charge? Hey, Simon! You're good with engines, aren't you? Yeah, what's up? Uh, don't know. It was all right yesterday. Now it's all coughing and spitting smoke. The ignition, perhaps? Well, let's take a look. How about the carburetor? Why would it act up? He could have taken a couple of knots today, though. And the gas ain't no good either. How about the cylinders? Do you have any ideas to deal with this guy? 
Did you want something, young man? Make your choice. Everything's fresh. Real fashion statement. Today's catch! Oh, what do we have here? The bargain price. Look, you're not from here, so could you help a local man out with a bullet or two? I wish we had more visitors like you here. Thank you. Anything for the guests of our station. Come on, let me pass. Join the bullshit. Hey, what about the money? No fucking reason to stick here. Come on, baby. Damn you. Get it from your local boss, bitch. Sure. We don't have bosses here. Cop it up. Are you crazy? They're friends with Gizli. Are you sure? Great. I have to serve all his friends for free and still pay him his cut. I'm tired of this life. What good is it all? I'd be better off on the farm, feeding the pigs. All right, we had some fun. Now it's time for work. So. First thing, we pay Kinsley and you hurry to Comrade Corbett. Tell him the virus container has been successfully delivered to Octyabrska, okay? Hey, pretty boy. Let's Why go. are you just standing business to attend? Hey, why is he unhappy? You just don't feel it. You basically signed that. Oh, no, 